In this video, I'm going to talk about the differences between soil roots and water roots. It almost sounds like the same, but it's not the same really. So let's uh, first start off with water roots. I have a great example of a uh, cutting of a Monstera adansoniae variegated. I usually propagate cuttings in water first and then I transfer them into sphagnum moss. So what happens with the cutting? The cutting eventually will uh, start a new growth point or a growth. This was a top cutting, so it already uh, has new growth and it will start to grow new roots. So when you put the cutting into water, it will start to grow water roots. Just going to show you an example of how that looks like. So what you can see here are a couple of water roots that are starting to form. These uh, water roots start to form where the uh, previous air roots were. They just really start to extend uh, where the air roots were and get longer and longer. Also you see like they're, they're really thick and, and flimsy here. It's almost like hairy when you touch them. These are great new water roots that are starting to build. You will also see uh, water roots starting to grow where other areas of air roots are that haven't started to grow. Once these roots get longer, they will also start to uh, build side shoots and on the, these roots and the side shoots, feeder roots will start to build. These are really small and tiny roots that will grow. Um, right now, uh, I will wait for a couple of inches more before I plant into a different medium. But this is a prime example of water roots. Water roots are also, they are really white and, and bright. All right, I've showed you a, a couple of uh, water roots. As I mentioned, the water roots are white. Soil roots, on the other hand, are brown to uh, black. And um, yeah, but what is really the difference between water roots and soil roots? So the plant is adapting to whatever medium it is in. So when I put a cutting into water, it will grow water roots because these kind of roots are better suited to uh, absorb water and also nutrients from the water. And on the other hand, soil roots are better suited in soil to absorb the nutrients and also the, the water. But um, why does it really matter the difference between water and soil roots? The thing is, once I put this cutting into soil, the plant needs to develop soil roots. This is also the time span where you need to be uh, really attentive because sometimes it goes wrong. The plant usually goes into shock when you put it with soil roots into water or with water roots into soil because it needs to transform and transition the roots itself. So as an example, if I put this into soil now, these white roots will transform, they will get brown and will develop into soil roots. If I put a uh, cutting or a plant with soil roots into water, usually when I want to transfer it into my hydroponic system, uh, the roots are starting to shed and they will become white and new um, water roots are starting to grow. In this uh, transition time, the plant really needs a lot of energy and it needs to um, transform the roots quickly because otherwise it will not be able to um, take in any nutrients uh, and also humidity. So it's really essential for the plant to do this transition. Usually I think these transitions are not a problem but um, it is also something you need to take into account when you propagate plants. Because I could directly propagate this Monstera adansoniae in soil, so the plant itself wouldn't have to transform their, its roots into soil roots. But I usually start in water because um, from my personal experience, root growth, uh, at least in the beginning phase, is the fastest when I put cuttings into water. What I'm doing afterwards is I put the cuttings into sphagnum moss. Because I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe the um, roots that are built in sphagnum moss, they're almost something like in between soil roots and water roots. Usually when I um, transplant cuttings from sphagnum moss into soil, I have almost no problems. Also when I transform cuttings from sphagnum moss into water, there's almost no uh, problems because the roots in uh, sphagnum moss are really great. So this is a really um, great in-between process or media for me uh, to grow my cuttings in. Sphagnum moss is something I really can recommend for all of you. Yeah, but I think I, I've gone into uh, the differences between soil roots and water roots. It's just something you need to 
take into account if you want to transfer your plant into a different medium or also if you take cuttings you need to think about where you want to start your cuttings because the uh, roots it's going to grow are going to look uh, different in different media so uh, just remember the difference between soil and water roots and you will be fine so this is the difference between soil and water roots i really hope you liked this video thank you so much for watching this was daniel from plantophiles